Welcome to Andy's Garage, I'm Andy Phillips. Today I'm gonna to show you how to align the windshield wiper arms on your vehicle, very easy. Let's go ahead and get started. Now the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go into vehicle, we're gonna go ahead and turn these on so you can see what I'm talking about, but you can already notice that this is sitting too high. And I'm gonna show you, there's normally markers on your windshield that show you where the blades need to rest, that way you know that the arms are in uh, proper alignment. But let me go ahead, I'm going to hop in the vehicle real quick. We're going to go ahead and turn it on, and I'll show you what we're dealing with here. So let's go ahead here. We're going to turn it on, and you can see this driver's side windshield wiper is going beyond the windshield. Let's head out there, and I'll show you. But you can see it right here. Normally you want your blade to be hitting right around this part of the windshield, but you can see here it's coming all the way hitting the molding. It's way out of alignment. Let me shut it off. So normally you want, it'll usually hit right around here, right around this, this black trim here on the glass itself, or sometimes it may cut a little bit into that, but never hitting here onto the actual this molding piece here, or in some cases, I've had vehicles in the past where it's been so out of alignment where the blade will actually come completely over and just get stuck here. And then, of course, if you're driving in the rain or in clement weather, that's a, a problem. But you can see here, we clearly have an issue that's been caused by this being knocked out of alignment. There's a few things that can throw your actual windshield wiper arm out of alignment. One of the ones that I've encountered in the past with, with vehicles I've worked on is if you have, for example, if you live in a, a climate where there's um, snow and ice, a lot of people will do this. And they'll raise them up the night before or before a snowstorm. That's recommended because if not, if you leave these down, you'll get the ice and snow that'll cake up on here. And what will happen is if you don't clear it properly and you try to turn your, your windshield wipers on to kind of sweep away that layer of snow, if there's any ice, you'll get that that tension against it and that will cause the motor to try to rotate and your arms obviously getting the weight on it from the snow or ice and that'll then cause it to then knock it like out of whack with the notching in here and I'm going to show you what we're talking about in a minute but that can then cause your blade to be out of alignment further this way where it'll go only partially like this or if you have it up and then coming down there's some extra um, obstruction whether there's ice or snow mounted up and you do manage to sweep it and you're coming back and you're getting resistance that will then push the motor to then go further rotating counterclockwise with the arm messed up and then knock it where it's too far up like in the case of this one and then when you turn it on you're going beyond your windshield so there's a couple things that can cause that some other ones can be if the nut gets loose and then the motor's trying to turn it and the arm's not moving you can throw it off those are other issues as well but either way you're at this point now and we need to figure out how to align it and that's what i'm going to show you Coming here on the windshield, you'll see here's a marking right here. I'll see if I can get it a, get a cleared up a little bit. But basically, that is where that driver's side blade is supposed to be resting, to be in alignment. And if I raise this one here on the passenger side, you'll see here's a marking right here. So this right here is what tells you what needs to be properly aligned. You can see that one's resting perfectly there. And then that one is clearly off from that marking there. So that's where we need it to be to be perfectly aligned. And you'll find that on your windshield if you look. You'll see those markers that help you to see where the, the blade needs to, to be resting for the arm to be properly aligned. Now looking here at your windshield wiper arm, on this particular vehicle here, we have this round cap. I'll get a close-up of it. Now underneath that is the nut that pretty much gets tightened down to hold the blade in place, and that's what we're gonna have to access. Now, these are usually these rubber or plastic caps. You can remove it with a flathead screwdriver or something to get underneath and pry it off. Some vehicles do not have that. They'll have just the nut itself, like in this case. So depending on your vehicle, that'll determine um, what you're dealing with, but on all of them, you're gonna have that nut that holds that down. 
So let's go ahead and pop that off so we can see the nut and then we can loosen that up, align this properly, and then wrap this up. I'm going to just take a flathead screwdriver and gently just slide it underneath this little rubber cap. You don't want to damage it. Just slightly pry that off. Go along the edges like that. And here it comes. And I should be able to just take my hand and just work it off gently. Like I said, you don't want to damage it because you need it to be able to go back on. And then here we have right here, this is the nut that holds that in place. And in some cases, you want to check that. It could just be loose. So you just align it and tighten it. In this case here, it's tight. This thing is just out of wax. So we're going to loosen that and then adjust this arm. I'm just going to be using just a small ratchet with a 13 millimeter socket. This particular vehicle, the nut is 13 millimeter which is the case on a lot of vehicles, but you'll have to check for your specifically. So we're just gonna go ahead here. First, I'm gonna see, yeah, this is very tight. So something happened to knock it out of a whack. So let's go ahead and loosen that. And then we can take that off. And then in here, we'll just give it just a nice little pull. It comes right off. And I'll get a close-up there and you can see how that mounts in there. And you can see there on the inside, it's grooved as well. So that way it has a good connection and it locks it in place. All right, so now that we have that off, we can now take this. We're going to gently lay it here. Um, we're not going to push it all the way down to where it locks onto the, the motor piece, but I'm going to lay this down because we want to line it up properly as we looked at those markers. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to put this in place and line it up with that marker, and then we'll be able to tighten it down. All right, now that we have it properly aligned, we're matching up with the markers per perfect. We have that in place. We'll press that down. Next, we're going to take the 13 millimeter nut, hand tighten it on there. Then we'll take our ratchet, keep tightening it. You'll see the blade is getting pushed down into place. It's locking it down. We'll keep going until it's firm. You don't want to over tighten it to strip it or anything. But there we are, we have it nice and tight. And then the next thing that we can do before we put the cap on, just look at the markers again, make sure it looks good, right on point. Before I lock this in place, let's go ahead and we'll turn the windshield wiper on and make sure that everything is good before we put the cap on it. Come in here. And let's give it a shot. Perfect. You can see the blade is ending right at that black trim on the glass that we talked about. This thing is perfectly aligned. Now that everything has been tested, everything's aligned, we have it tightened down. We'll take a look here and make sure, because sometimes after running it, we'll just confirm the markings. Let's take a look at that. Everything is lined up properly with the proper alignment markings. So now you can just take the little black cap, press it down by hand, firmly get that on there. There we go. Everything is good to go. And that pretty much wraps up this video on how to align your windshield wiper arms. 
I hope this video was informative for you. I hope it helped you out. Please send me any questions, any comments. I would love to hear from you. As always, I appreciate all the support. Please like the video, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you next time.